Today's video is about legs up the wall when menstruating. Hi, I'm Melissa and welcome to Yoga Lifestyle with Melissa. <laughs> Today's question comes to us from Madeline and she wants to know, can I do legs up the wall when I'm menstruating? And she was asking this in relation to Yoga with Melissa, Restore Your Energy, number 263. So I think this is such a great question and as always I'm not a medical doctor I'm a PhD in communications and cultural studies so always the last word goes to your medical doctor especially if you have any issues with menstruation it's really great to check in with them and actually show them what legs up the wall looks like because I think a lot of times you could ask your doctor you know what can I do yoga they don't really know what's happening in a yoga class so talk to them about movement and show them what movements that you're doing and then they'll know. So the reason why this comes up is that there's an important guideline in yoga to avoid inversions when you're menstruating and the reason for that is that when you do an inversion your pelvis tips completely upside down and that disrupts the flow of menstrual fluid which is supposed to be flowing down and out and when you go upside down then that turns the the flow in the opposite direction that it's supposed to be going. So I personally think that legs up the wall is a bit of a gray zone because when you do legs up the wall, you're lying on your back and as luck would have it, we don't have a wall here, but I can actually show you what it looks like. You're lying on your back and your pelvis is actually level. So your pelvis isn't actually inverted in legs up the wall. It's level. It's no more inverted than it is in a pose. Oh, this pose gets recommended all the time for, for when you have your period. It's no more inverted than recline bound angle pose, which is also another one when it's uh, level. So I think it's a bit of a gray zone. And I think you need to listen to your own body. So me personally, when I'm menstruating, I don't re necessarily do it on the first or second days of my period, but I've also had a history of retrograde inversion. When I was a teenager, I had my menstrual cycle go against the flow of gravity ones, and that was incredibly painful. So because of my history, I don't like to take any chances, but you can, you know, you need to listen to your own body. I think the pelvis is level, you're not turning it upside down. I see no issue with you doing legs up the wall where your pelvis is level, not inverting actually on at days when your flow is not heavy. So for the most part, I don't avoid legs up the wall when I'm menstruating. And I'd be curious to know how other women treat this pose when they're menstruating. Do you do legs up the wall when you are menstruating? Do you avoid it on the heavier days? Do you avoid it altogether? Or is it something that you do any day on your menstrual cycle? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I am going to leave you a bunch of links that are gonna be useful for you. If you found this video helpful, you may also like several other videos that I have on this topic. I have a video that says, that's on, can I do inversions when I'm menstruating? I have one on yoga for menstruation. I have one on yoga for your menstrual cycle. I have one on yoga for menstrual cramps. I have one on how to prevent menstrual cramps with yoga. And I have one on yoga poses to relieve menstrual cramps. So <laughs> that's a lot, but it's not really surprising because as women, we menstruate every 28 days. So it makes sense that I've covered this topic fairly often. So if you know somebody who would find this vid video helpful, please feel free, free to share it with them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I put out a video like this where I answer your questions every single Wednesday. So thanks so much for watching. And I already asked you to subscribe if you liked it, right? And I asked you to comment already, so we're good. <laughs> it's getting dark here, so we're going to say goodbye. Thanks so much for watching. Namaste. Melissa would love to hear your questions and thoughts. Please leave your comments below the video.
Thank you for your reviews on iTunes and YouTube. Your reviews help us to share yoga and a yoga lifestyle with others around the world. If you have a question for Melissa, you can leave a voice message at melissawest.com, and Melissa may answer it in an upcoming blog.